All right, guys. So we're out of the workshop, me and Forrest, and um, we've come to my backyard and we brought a lot of tools. And I'll just show you, we also we brought some 5x10s or 2x4s, depending where you live, 2 inch by 4 inch or 5 centimeters by 10 centimeters. They're 4.5 meters long, which is ooh, wow, quite a lot of feet, probably. And, uh, and some sheet material. This is what they call this combi. Where I live, it's cheap, 16, 17 mil. This is 10 millimeter. This is a better quality. You can see the plies. And this is birch, six mil. So what do you think we're gonna build? All will be revealed. Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Today we've got something a little bit different. Today we're working in my backyard and we're building a skateboard ramp, yeah. Let's get into it. All right, folks. So for this ramp, I found plans on the internet. We need a bunch of uh, two by fours or five by tens in centimeters, and we need some sheet material, which is over there. Um, now, unfortunately for me, all of the plans are in feet and inches, so I've had to change it all into centimeters and meters and millimeters. Um, and the first thing we need to do is cut up these 2x4s, 5x10s. Okay, now because we're working in the yard and not in the workshop and I don't have a table here, we're going to use a couple of saw horses and an old door. Now these saw horses, I've had them for years and years and years, I can't even remember when I built them and they built out of scraps then. But they're folding saw horses. They've got a few hinges, a couple of hinges here, a couple of hinges here, and you can just open them like this and they're very stable and you can just close them like this. I really like them. I've been working with them on uh, work sites and all over the place for years. So uh, yeah, maybe we'll make a video about, if you're interested and you want to see a video, let me know and we'll make a video about how to make these saw horses. So okay, so I'm going to make my work table. Perfect. Okay, so I've set up uh, a little workstation on my door on my saw horses. And I've got the chop saw. I've clamped it down to the table so it won't move around. I've screwed a little block of wood here so that this piece will not fall over. And I've put a stopper over here. And I need to make 13 pieces the same length. That's my 5x10s, 2x4s, all cut up to length. 13 pieces on my plans. Uh, the next thing I need to do on the sheet material is draw the radius for the ramp. And to do that, I'm just going to use a long board like this. I'm going to drill a hole, stick in a pencil, drill another hole, put in a screw or something, and use it like a great big compass to draw the desired radius. This is how we're going to draw the radius. I've decided to take off this piece now and then I won't hopefully make any mistakes uh, and I'll be left with this piece of material to cover the top of this skateboard ramp. So here, here we have two pieces of 
four foot or one meter twenty, however you like to look at it. I'll have two pieces to cover the top with because um, I nearly cut it just now. So be aware, be careful of that, that you don't cut up the piece that you need to cover the top of your skateboard. Just what I always wanted. Put the wheels on it and make it into a skateboard. No, I'm just okay, so now it's time to start to screw in this framework inside. It's gonna go all the way down here as well. little block just makes it easy for me to know where to drill and where to screw. Okay so it's, uh, it's the second day. Yesterday I ran out of daylight. I only started working late in the afternoon. So now I'm going to continue with the framing up the middle. I'm just going to mark all my centers. to working at home in the garden, my daughter just bought me a big cold glass of apple juice. Lucky me. Cheers. Lovely. 
lovely. Okay. So now I'm going to go and check my lovely plans. Um, and start to cut up the next layer. And the next layer is going to be like, oh, I don't remember what you guys call it in pounds, but in, um, in centimeters, it's 10 millimeters. We're going to put on two 10 millimeter layers and then a six mil layer, which is probably about a quarter of an ounce, I would guess. Oh, this is really awesome. I'm enjoying this a lot. So I need to drill the metal pipe and cut up the next two layers. Very good lighting for this drilling bit. So I'm just showing you the end of it. Just so you guys know, I drilled first a three millimeter hole, then a five millimeter hole, and then a 10 millimeter hole. Um, my three and my five went all the way through. On the other side of this pipe, there's a five mil hole. So then I can get the head of my screwdriver in there to drive the screw. And before I drilled my holes, I also just made a mark with a punch so the drill bit didn't slide all over the place. It just makes it easier to start. And everything held with a clamp. Can't stress how important that is. And wear glasses. Oh, and I've put the drill on a slow speed. Like this is fast. This is slow. It gives it more power. And also the drill bit won't heat up so much. And uh, metal prefers you to drill it slowly with a bigger diameter bit. So this is a piece of uh, galvanized pipe that a very nice man kindly gave me. I had to cut off about two centimeters only. Um, I'm just gonna give it a bit of a clean because it's a bit dirty. And uh, I'm gonna use a bit of sandpaper and a bit of wire wool. Lovely. That looks a lot better. Burnished. Now time to screw it on. Hey guys, so there we are, that's fastened on tight. Now, I just want to say, if you're enjoying this video, please do like underneath. And if you'd like to see more content from me, click on the subscribe and ring that little bell, and then you'll get notified all the time. If you don't ring the bell, um, YouTube aren't going to notify you and you're going to miss out on my content. So there you go. If you want to see more of my content, please like, subscribe and ring the bell. Okay, next thing. We're going to put on the top and we're going to start putting on layers of plywood for the ramp. So now I've wet the board and put a whole bunch of weight on it to pre-bend it. So, Okay guys, well, things are looking good. It's bent on nicely. Unfortunately, I couldn't film it because once I put, started putting the screws and I couldn't take my leg off to uh, get to the camera. So anyway, you see it's starting to bend nice. The other board now is just sitting here getting a 
getting a soaking. And now I've just got to finish off another couple of rows of screws. Okay guys, uh, I'm going to keep this short. I'm in the workshop, this is where I edit my movies. Uh, and I didn't do an outro for that movie because I didn't know I was going to stop there. But the, the board needs to soak more to get it to bend, the second board. So I've left that one soaking. I'm editing the movie. I'm going to upload it now. And uh, hopefully tomorrow you're going to see the last episode. So uh, come back. Don't miss it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.